equipment rolling. and we're rolling. Yep. Ran out of juice, so we just bought a new camera. That's how we solve our issues. That's how we roll. Now maybe we can get exterior shots or different oh, wait, angles that people let's, keep um, talking about. Let's go through your disclaimer. We can't because we got to get out of the car and turn it off and stuff to do that. But no, we don't. Yeah, we do. Oh, that's stupid. This is the 2014 Mazda 6. Yep, it's 2013, so 14's huh, already out in January. We're a month into the 2013 season. Oh, that's nice. It didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work. What we're talking about is the Tom Tom Go or whatever it is. Yeah, Tom Tom Go, right? The Tom Tom disclaimer. You know, every car these days has a disclaimer with the nav system before you mm-hmm. before you dig in. And, and the nav system disclaimer on this car is aggressive. lengthy and yes, aggressive. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. So we're uh, we're talking about this all new model, uh, completely redone inside out. Real pretty, gorgeous. Looks good. Great LEDs on the front, which mm-hmm. I don't have a picture of. I want them. He wants them. I want them. What would you do with them? We've been through this again. You can't just flip the paddle shifters. you got to keep it in gear. Oh. Boy, I'm glad we had to redo this one. Because remember last time when you didn't shift? Mm-hmm. That was yeah. funny. Yeah. It shifts up. It doesn't shift down. That was a good time. So uh, this particular model is a great... Geese are walking on water. It's happening right now. They're walking on water. That just happened. Oh, it's frozen. So this is a Grand water. Touring model. <laughs> which that means mean? it's got the two point... Well, I don't know what that means overall, but in this situation, it happens to have the 2.5 liter four-cylinder uh, inline engine. Inline four-cylinder engine. I-4. Putting out, we believe, 189 horse. I'm sure we'll get corrected. Yeah. He didn't really read the thing I did. But uh, it was a couple thing? days ago because I threw it out because we, we were doing other things. His arms are sore. Mark's arms are sore because he uh, lifted weights for the first time, possibly ever. Ever. And we're, we're proud of them for that. I couldn't leave the gym. There was a cute girl there, so I had to right, keep going. Right, right. He said, he said uh, going into the gym to ask for directions to the snack counter. Strangely enough, you'd think that'd be me. And uh, while he was in there, there was a cute girl. He got a little panicky, picked up a weight, and now he can't move. So, uh, love the fuel economy. Five pound things are heavy. God, the sun is awful. This is why we usually do these during the day, but Mark was busy today, so we're doing oh, and it. The, and the sun's only out at night? Later in the day. And it's annoying at night? No, it's at a better angle for this. Okay. We can do it earlier in the day, not in the day. We always do it in the day. We don't do a night drive. We should do a night drive! Ah, don't! don't yell. Well, it hurts! If we do a night drive, they wouldn't be able to see anything. I know, right? Watch this. That's so cool. It does that. Yeah, th- that's so it has the, uh, the blind spot and it ca- caters on the on the side mirrors. Yeah, and when you put your turn signal over, if there's a car in your blind spot, it'll give you a little chime, let you know. So, which I is like something. It. Well, it's something that the uh, Ford and other other uh, car manufacturers don't do, which surprises me every time. I, it's I it's such think, a logical I mean, it has concept, an indicator. right? Indicator. All you need to do is put an audible tone hooked right. up to it. When now it, the flip side to that is Moss has been doing that for years. I had a CX nine four years ago that did it. So. It's a nice concept, but, uh, you know, it would be nice if other people would adopt it. So, good gas mileage on it. Uh, 38 yeah. highway is highway. really pretty, pretty impressive, although... Same as our Focus. You are driving a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine, so there is a little lack of... of no, there's not. This thing's go. heavy. <laughs> it's right up to 45. Really not. Not peppy. I mean, it, it's Why listed it at 0, 060 of... It's uh, held the gear. Shift. It listed zero to sixty of what seven six I think I saw, which isn't. I mean, which way the wind blowing? Awful. That's true. That might have been with the tailwind downhill. Is this a six speed? Six speed tra- uh, transmission, yeah, manual. Speaking of which, this is the weirdest design thing. We we noticed a couple things last time we did this drive when the audio failed, which was the time before the video failed. Um, <laughs> I hate. We noticed a couple of design flaws, if you will. One of them is right there. As you notice, I got closer to the camera when he stopped because they have the armrest here, which has USB, auxiliary, and uh, PowerPoint inside of it. Also slides, which we've seen in a number of cars. Problem it is, it needs... It locks, kind of. It, well, it needs a catch. Yep. Right? You need, you need to pull... You need to put some force on it. I'm just laying my elbow on it. As he braked, my whole body slid forward because the catch on it's a little well, loose. When I, here, put it forward. But when I floor it... Oh, there we go. I'm back. back. Yeah. Well, that's because it's peppy, right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can hear it clicking when he acts like a moron. And, uh... Clicks a lot. 
So they've got little things that, that like the uh, gear shift or the gear selector here. Ch- check out this e We haven't done that yet. Oh. The gear selector has absolutely no design to the top. None. Nothing. Just no. blank. Just blank it's black. It's a nice little black circle, which I'll insert here. And uh, it really leaves a little to be desired as far as uh, creativity and design goes. The e-brake, however, does not lack for a Mazda stamp. But to access the Mazda stamp, you have to take off. You have to unsnap it and unzip the yeah, leather un-snap case around it. Unsnap and unzip. <laughs> I, want to, I want to really make sure everybody knows this, and we're going to have images of it. Just the fact There's that you a button. can. There's a button, like a coat snap button. It's a snap. And yes. then your zipper. Don't do it now. They can't see what you're doing. They just see you know, fiddling and stuff. I want to fiddle. I understand, but we have to drive because that's fiddle what we're doing is driving the car. Nice amenities, and this one has a HD radio, which is cool. And of course, like I said, the TomTom interface for the for the GPS is certainly pretty. Um, oh come on! Seems decently uh, up to date. We'll tell you in a minute because we're coming up to Sorry, some roads that are off. real new. You know what I noticed? I was I was parking uh, the other day, and I assume it was some sort of steering wheel assist gone wrong, but it almost felt like the steering wheel was fighting me. This car? Yeah, it was a very strange little feeling. I like that they've put, uh, you know, I love the car manufacturers in general, and Mazda's done it in this one, have taken LCDs and mm-hmm. reshaped them. You know, Mercedes mm-hmm. did it for, for, has done it for a while. Volvo was the first one I saw it in, where they took the LCD and they made it round in the middle of the speedometer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it just, it looks so cool. It looks like it really fits in and, and like they made it a round LCD, which of course they didn't. They took a rectangular LCD and put a round cover on it. But it's a really nice touch because they can give you a lot of information without the stupid little uh, the red letters. What a great idea! I should... Ah, out. And uh, uh-huh. that's how it hurts. You right rotten! Oh. <laughs> We've also got uh, looks like a dimming mirror and home link in this one. A uh, nice little sun moon moonroof. We decided moonroof. Moon Sunroofs only pop up. Moonroofs retract. Quote me on it. I thought it was a little weird. The uh, the in order to change the LCD screen, there's a knob that you push the button on. Hmm? It's, it's, it's sort of redundant. That's sort of backwards. Order to change them. The, you, got, you got a button up here in the... Oh, yeah. That thing is and, huge. And, and it sticks out. I kid it's you not. Huge. This far. And is that big around. Oh. So it just looks like it's asking to be broken off. I, I, I'll just do it right now. <laughs> that would be helpful. Thank you. Just, just cut that right off. And all it does is go from trip A to trip B. It doesn't turn, doesn't do anything else. It doesn't else. turn, you just push a button. Oh, yeah, and that's for the that's for the secondary LCD, which lists your, your trip. It's a third LCD, a little tiny one for the gear selector. Yep, three temperature heated seats. <clears throat> You've got paddle shifters, floppy paddle shifters on it, as well as floppy, floppy. a gear selector in the uh, console, which is kind of interesting, kind of different. Um, so he can do it there, and I can do it here. With oh, my can, left like, hand. You can co-pilot. <laughs> I can co-pilot. All right, co-pilot, I'll make, I'll ship make the me shifts. the third. <laughs> While Thank you, drives. co-pilot. <laughs> um, I'll take care of fourth gear. Needless to say, we're not getting uh, 30 miles to the gallon right now. No, we're getting 38. Driving <laughs> around town. 30 is the combined number on it. Oh. Good trunk space. Plenty of room for my one-tenth scale remote control car. Probably put yours in there, too, as well as a couple of our co-workers. All of my other ones. We're hobbyists. How many do you have now? Six. Two. Two, that's it? Kalise has six. <laughs> Co-worker Jeff Kalise, who may some of you may remember from the Jaguar XJ video, has six. Man, you have a good memory. I like what they did with the stitching in here. Uh, it's oh, kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is the Grand Touring, I'm sure, the Grand Touring stitching. But you've got a white and black sort of two-tone yeah, interior. But then on the black, on the white leather, they've done white stitching. And on the black leather, they've done red stitching, which is a, a cool... I think that's contrast. Really cool. I like it. It's like extra contrast within the contrast. It's contrast for contrast. Whoa. Hey, mind blown. You know what? New camera shows us how long we've been talking. Oh, that's so cool. It has a display. Old camera didn't do that. Yeah. Old camera could barely tell if we were recording. I love how you just said, you know what? Instead of just waiting to charge it up, let's just go buy a new one. That's the old one's issue. battery didn't hold a charge anymore. Did that cop pull that guy over? I don't think so. I think that cop's waiting for body work at our body shop. Body. We've got a good body shop here. Body shop. This is going to be a bit of a short review, though, because... Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Frankly, we started halfway out. Yeah. Usually, we do, like, an out-and-back loop. <laughs> it's going to be a short um, review 
posting on the web. It's been a really long process. <laughs> yes, to it do is. This, this is our third try. It's been an incredibly long process. And for those of you who are who are familiar with our general release pattern, we like to do them once a week. But uh, the last two weeks, we put in an I put in a new phone system at the dealership, being the IT guy. <laughs> wow. Just take all the credit. I will take all of the freaking credit. It was me and the guy from the phone company, and they don't know the guy from the phone company, so we're not going to really acknowledge him. Hey, he's not allowed to park here. Yeah, that guy's parked on our spot. He's going to park there. Sure. I'm going to park right in the front. So, I the front moral, <laughs> moral of the story Spurs. is put it right there. No, it can't be right there. It's it not... looks beautiful right there. I see it from the road. Put it right there. Do it. Okay. Do you it. Want to shift for me? Sure. Okay, thanks. We're in drive. I want, I want to shift. Okay. I shifted you back into drive. Okay, fine. I'll do it from here, Steve. Um, now you're in neutral. No, I can't do that. I know. Do you think I'll hit the curb on this? Probably. So, I, all in all, <sighs> I think uh, as four-cylinder mid-size sedans go, this is a pretty great four-cylinder mid-size sedan. No, I love it. It's got all the touch points on it are nice. It's easy to use. Your AC controls are all up here. The only thing I'm a little wary about is the nav, but... Every well, car company is different. The price point on, on this unit, too, is only $31,000. I mean... Jeez, really? Yeah, it's just it's pretty fully loaded. Mm -hmm. Get uh, some decent Japanese reliability and quality in it. Nice sunglass holder. Probably fit sunglasses. Not mine. <laughs> Not yours, because... Did you see that purple and color-shifting Corvette that just went by? Mm -mm. Oh, we could have made such fun of him. It's got extra slide-outs on the... Uh, on the flip downs. Yeah, so it doesn't. Bluetooth, of course. Oh, we forgot to talk about the uh, adaptive cruise control. We could have had some fun with that, but we didn't. We didn't go on a cruise. We should have. We can talk about it. Darn. It's got adaptive cruise control. It's got adaptive which is, cruise control. It's kind of cool. Again, for a thirty-one thousand dollars car, pretty impressive. Ad adaptive yeah. cruise control, and then what was the name of the city? Uh, go through the info list uh, there. The city option that we could turn on. City safe or. Mm -hmm. Your phone's ringing. Is that what that was? Sorry, are you busy? You got things you gotta do. Ah! Stop! Ow! <laughs> he lifted like 30 pounds like a dozen times. I know, it's so sore though. Felt so good. I'm giving him credit for 30 pounds. He probably actually lifted like 20 pounds because he's kind of a little guy. Combined, 10 on each arm. <laughs> it's like, ah! Ah! You can't even do that, can you? Do this. No. Make it, make it, do this. No. Just flex for us. <laughs> Flex showrooms over there. <laughs> I'll just say it's right here. It's right here. Don't point there. They don't want to see you pointing here. There. They can't see me. It's not wide angle lens. Oh, it is. This is awkward. I don't know what the angle on this new one looks like. We'll have to see if this, is, if this is better and fancier. But hopefully next week, now that we have two cameras, um, maybe in a couple weeks, I order a new battery. We should for the put other one, one like right here and one like. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Is we'll put one in front of me and one in front of him. And that'll be your dual angle that you've been asking for. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we can mount one from the back or outside you can put one on the, the outside of the car. You think outside the car? I gotta yeah. buy another car mount too. Why not just a suction cup? What's the difference? Like duct tape it to the suction cup. <laughs> Is it a magnet? Yeah, we'll have to look into that. Is it a magnet for the cars? No, it's a suction cup. That's me, but it doesn't have sound. Somebody might be trying to get to us. All right. Well, we'll sign off. Say thank you very much. And yep. uh, You guys have a fantastic rest of your day or night. We'll see you soon.